Hey, what's up, guys? A uh, quick video just to give you a preview of a series of videos coming up that will go over what this does and how it works. LG. Power. Okay, so we turn the TV on. Uh, so basically what we have here is a voice-controlled TV remote. Completely controlled over t over uh, using your voice. So basically, I uh, there, there's nothing special going on here. It does not require you to know any special remote code. The module here, the Ar it, this is all Arduino based. I'm using an Easy VR voice recognition module. See, right now it thinks I said the trigger word. Uh, of course, it'll fail and then go back to normal. But anyway. It's Arduino based. We have an infrared receiver that is used to program the remote. We have uh, infrared LEDs that output to the TV. Uh, we have a, some a rotary encoder there to make selections with a uh, an LCD screen. So uh, let me give you a little demo of what's going on here. So if I say the trigger word, which is the name of my TV, LG five. Okay, and then it goes to channel five and goes to the whatever channel. So anyways, I mean, what's cool about my TV is I have like a Netflix button or, you know, special functions. I can program it to do those things and go, you know, to and execute those those commands. But um, so it's it's still a little buggy right now and I need to work it out. So that's why I'm not going to start with these videos. The videos will be coming up shortly. I just wanted to give you a, a quick heads up of what's going on here. So it does uh, two buttons at the same time, too, so it listens and waits for two commands, too. And basically what happens is, is you, you, you say a trigger word so that you can continuously talk without making the, the TV go nuts. So it waits for that trigger word. It immediately mutes the TV to silence things out so that it can hear your next command you know, more clearly. Then it, it listens. If it hears it, it executes it. Then it unmutes the TV. Okay, that's the whole process. So if I go TV, oops, LG, five, five, oops. So it actually missed my second word there. LG, LG, five, five. Okay, so that time it worked. It went 5-5, five, five, went to the channel, and unmuted the TV. So it's still a little buggy. And see, right now it should not be executing this. I think I triggered the main control word uh, too softly. So there's ways you can you can adjust the sensitivity. In fact, you can put algorithms in your code so that it adjusts the sensitivity based on how many failures it's getting. So there's a lot you can do with this, and that's part of the reason I'm not going to get into these instructional videos just yet on this one. I really want to make sure it's good. In fact, the code for this thing is so, I mean, it's ugly. It's not pretty code at all. It's all over the place. So as soon as I clean all that up and get a real good grasp and everything works the way I want it to work, then we'll get into it. But anyways, let me actually, uh, I'll program a new new button to show you exactly how cool this thing is real quick. So right now we're in listen mode. I'm going to get out of listen mode. I'm going to go into program mode. Okay, it's it's asking me. I can name a new TV. In fact, let me do that real quick because right now the, the command LG is not distinct enough as because it keeps triggering as I'm just talking normally. So let's make it something. Um, I'm just going to call it remote for now just for the sake of this. And we should be in a, in a completely silent room when I do this. So I click the button and I it said uh, and now it's asking me to train first. It should fail because it's getting different words. So I'm gonna do this again. Remote. 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 Okay, so it trained it trained a, a new TV or trigger command. Um, and I have it set up so it trains every word four times. So you really should kind of say it, um, you know, in a different way 
four times so that it has a good profile of the command. So the the next the next uh, thing it wants you to do is train the mute button because it does use the mute button for every command because it mutes the TV, then waits for the command, and it also waits for you. It also asks you to program the enter button because it it mutes it. It waits for the command, and then as soon as it hears the command, it hits the enter button or whatever you know, whatever button executes the the, the channel right away, so that it can do it more quickly. You know, because if I just hit like three and just sit here and wait for it to do something, that could take forever. The uh, module here will actually, you know, the Arduino code will actually execute the enter command as soon as it hears uh, a button. But anyways, let's continue on. All right, I'm gonna say new button. Okay. Info. 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 Okay, so n once it trains the command, now you have to train the Arduino to what button you want that word to execute. So I'm going to do the info, and I have to actually go over here to the infrared uh, receiver, and I click it. As soon as the light turns green, that means it's got the code. Um, it just so happens when I click the button, it also did it up there. So I'm going to turn that off. Now it's asking me to test the button. So I'm going to test the button here. Okay, and it works. So it did successfully copy it in. It copies it into external memory, into an external EE prom. So that, that's kind of why it's a little slow too. When you, uh, you know, I'll get to that in a second. But right now we said it's asking us if it's good or bad. And I'm going to say good. If it said bad, I'd have to go repeat that cycle and program it again. Now I'm just going to go back into listen mode. So right now we're in listen mode. And remember I reprogrammed the, let me turn info off here. Now remember I reprogrammed the remote or the uh, trigger command to say remote. So when I say that, I'll, and I'll test out my new button, remote. Oh, that's funny. I was in mute already. That's why. So remote info. Ah, there it goes. So that's kind of the UI for this this whole board, okay? And that's kind of what I wanted to show you in this video. Again, we're using an Arduino. We're using some special, uh, just, I mean, not special, just some basic logic chips because I'm using a rotary encoder here. Well, the rotary encoder uh, operates using the interrupts on the Arduino, and I only have two interrupts. Well, I also use the interrupts for the IR receiver so that I can measure pulses, to, or uh, pulse widths of that uh, output. So uh, again, we have the LCD screen. We have a select button. We have an easy VR. This was called a uh, VR bot when I bought it, but it still works with the uh, the latest command set. Um, and now, now I think you can buy this as an Arduino shield, which is really cool. I'm not using the Arduino commands or, or the Arduino library for this module. I'm using the raw command set which is still so easy to use, so that's why I decided to go with it. So anyway, I guess part of the reason I made this video is uh, to get some feedback and what you'd like to see as part of the instructional series. And don't expect these videos anytime soon because it's the code for this is ridiculously long. I mean, there is so much going on in here. So um, let me get out of listen mode here. So anyways, part of the reason I just want to make this video, though, is to get some feedback and what you'd want to, to see in the instructional videos. So in the comments, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.